Okay, welcome to my gloss declutter. As you can see, I just got done <laughs> decluttering my pinks and purple lipsticks, which I definitely should have saved for last because my hand is so stained. So if you can't properly see the swatches, I'm so sorry, I'm actually gonna take this out because this isn't even a gloss. So we're just gonna get into this. I'm not expecting to get rid of like a ton of these because I do love a lot of my glosses, but I already see some that I know I'm going to get rid of. So let's just start off with the top one here. This is from Bare Minerals. I think I got this in a box or something. I don't know, but I don't like this formula at all. I also don't really think that this color is very flattering on me. I'm not gonna swatch all of these glosses because you're not gonna be able to properly see what they look like anyway, unless they got a bit of a different shift to them. So I'm gonna get rid of this one because I've worn it once and it also smells like shit and it tastes really bad. So <laughs> that's not a good start. So here is the Juvia's Place gloss that was in the Fumi collection. Um, I'm torn between this. This is the kind of color that I just don't see myself really reaching for very often, but it's also super unique to my collection. It's almost like a poopy, like a light poopy color. And I kind of like that. So just for the simple reason that this is very unique to my collection, I don't have anything else like this. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this just because I think it is kind of like a cool color. And I feel like there definitely might be a time where I wanna reach for something like this. Next up, just to keep it easy for myself, I'm gonna take out all of my Wet n Wild glosses here because I absolutely love all of these. These are the High Shine lipsticks. I think these are fantastic. And I just, if I could only wear one gloss for the rest of my life, I might actually pick these because they're very long lasting and they're also very opaque. So maybe I could even use these as like a lipstick. Like this is like, depending on my mood, like if I wanna go somewhere that I want something effortless, that's not going to be hard to apply, that I'm not gonna need a lip liner with, that's still going to last pretty well, but not be drying. Like these are what I reach for. Absolutely love all of these. So, I mean, so far, we're not off to a good start with the decluttering, but that's totally okay because I definitely think that I will be getting rid of some stuff. So here is a sample that I got from Clinique. I think this was like free with purchase or something. I think this is more like a lip balm, but I don't like having a balm or like a sheer lip color that's very dark. It's just really hard to make that look good on my lips. I can see someone with a deeper skin tone really liking this, but for me, this is just a really hard product to make look good. And I also don't want to just like slap this on when I'm like sitting at home not doing anything because I'll just get it all over my face because it's so dark and so slippery. So I'm gonna declutter this. Here is my Clear Dior Gloss. Ah, oh, man. I wish I could say I like this. Bought this with my own money, thinking I could use this to layer on top of any lipstick that I have and it would be fabulous because I really love this pink one. This pink one is probably like eight years old. Don't plan on getting rid of this, so I'm just gonna put that in a keep pile because I love that one. But this one, oh my God, like this disrupts every single lipstick that I've ever tried to layer this over. And I'm never a clear lip gloss kind of person that I just wear this on its own. So I'm gonna see if I can find someone to give this to who might wear just a clear gloss because uh, I'm so sad about this. I really wanted to like this because this would have been a good investment for you know having a clear gloss to put over any lipstick that didn't have like any kind of sparkles and stuff to it. So I'm gonna get rid of this just because I feel so stupid spending that much money on a clear gloss, but you know, what can you do? So here's the other clear gloss that I have. This is the Melted Latex from Too Faced. I think this one is okay. I just don't like the fact that it's so hard to get anything out of it because I feel like everything just gets stuck like in a tube here. And then when you try to put it on, there's just not enough on the doe foot. And I keep having to dip in like four different times just to coat my lips with enough gloss. But the formula of this is nice. I do like this. So here's another gloss that I got from Kevin Aquan. I got this through Octoly. I actually just reviewed this in another video. I think this is fabulous. This is an amazing formula. I love everything about this. I'm so excited that they actually wanted to send me these because now I have three of them. If I can find the third one somewhere in here. Ah, there it is. So yeah, for sure keeping all of these. I think these are such a good product. Next up is a gloss from ColourPop. The one thing that I don't like about their glosses is the stupid brush tip because some of them get so frayed and you end up having like this goopy little plastic stray sticking out and it's just a pain in the ass, but this one is fine still. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this. I'm also going to keep all of my Fenty gloss bombs because these are my favorites. Don't know where my nude one is. Maybe it's hiding in a purse. 
Yeah, the nude one is definitely hiding in a purse somewhere because I just bring those everywhere. So I'm gonna keep both of these. I'm also going to keep all of these uh, Jouer mini glosses. I actually got these sent by a subscriber and she sent me like a whole set of these. I don't even know if any of these are, or if all of these are glosses or lipsticks because I haven't played around with all of them. But I do think that these are really, really pretty and I definitely on occasion have put one or two or maybe four of these just living in my purse to just like top off my lipsticks and stuff with and I really like these. I think these are really cute and I just, I love many things like this that I could just top in my purse and just, you know, in case I want to put something different on, I have options. So I'm going to keep all of these little minis. So while we're on the topping of minis, this is one of the, uh, what is this, Urban K? High Shine Ultra Cushion Lip Gloss. I really like this. I'm not usually a fan of like the minty glosses, but I just think this is really cute and it layers very nicely over any nude. And so I like to chuck this in my purse as well. I feel like I always have many lip glosses in my purse. So this is definitely going to be staying in my collection. And so is both of my L'Oreal, what are you called again? Color Shine Lipsticks. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna keep both of these. I really like these. And again, I didn't know whether or not to put these in with the lipsticks or with the lip glosses, but they're like a gloss stick. So I don't know. I figured I would put them in here. I wasn't really sure, but I'm gonna keep both of these. I'm also going to keep this gloss from Almay. I really like this. I think this is such a unique gloss. It's almost like a pink with a gold shift in it. I think this is really beautiful. I'm definitely gonna keep this. I actually bought this at CVS or maybe it was Walgreens not that long ago. It wasn't even that expensive. I want to say it was like $10 maybe. I don't know. I haven't really tried anything else from Allmate. Let me know if you like the brand, if you tried anything. Do they have any fun products? Because this is so good that I would like to try something else from the brand. Here's another formula that I absolutely love. These are all from Huda Beauty. These are the lip strobes. For sure going to keep all of these. I definitely don't wear these enough. And I feel like this is another one of those lip products that I need to put in front of me so I can see them. Like these are opaque enough that you can wear them as lipsticks, but you could also just like tap a little bit on with your finger over any kind of lipstick and it looks really, really nice. Yeah, like these are so intense. They're almost like metallic lipsticks in a way, but without really being a lipstick, it's like a metallic gloss, but a very opaque gloss. Yeah, I really like this. I do think that this one is my favorite though. I think this one is snobby. Yeah, this is snobby. This is just so cute. It's almost similar to that All May gloss in a way, but a little bit lighter. So yeah, I really like that. I'm gonna keep all of these, and I'm also going to keep every gloss that I have from ABH because I do really like the ABH gloss formula. I don't like the uh, liquid lipstick formula, but the glosses I think are really good. So I guess these are all of the ones that I do have. I thought I had another one. I don't know. I thought I had another full size one. Don't know. Maybe I'm just blind and I can't see it right now and it'll come up later. But these are the ones that I have so far and I'm going to keep all of them because I think these are great. Here's a weird one. I don't remember where I got this. This is from Oriza Beauty. What even are you? This feels like very cheap packaging. I don't remember buying this. I feel like I got this in some kind of a box. I don't like that formula. I already feel like that's going to be kind of thick and uncomfortable and drying. I don't know where I bought this or I don't really think I bought this honestly because I don't know. I've never heard of this brand and I can't imagine that I would be somewhere that would sell this brand and then I didn't remember it. So I'm pretty sure I got this in a box and I don't like it and I'm going to declutter it. And like I was saying, I've not been decluttering a lot of these because I just really like glosses. So here's another one of the ColourPop glosses. This reminds me a lot of that first one from uh, Juvia's Place, but this one is definitely a lot sheerer. So I'm gonna keep that. I do like the gloss formula from ColourPop. I just wish that they would use doe foots instead. Oh, here is the last ABH one. I knew I had another one. So I'm gonna keep that as well. And the ColourPop one, also going to keep... This one I'm very torn on. This is the Flexi Slick from Ofra. Ah, oh, man, this is so weird because it's almost like it's a lipstick because it's not drying, but it's also not a gloss because it's not really glossy. This is what I would imagine a matte gloss to be like. I don't love this formula. I don't hate this formula. Will I reach for it? Maybe on occasion because I do really like the color of this. Maybe I need to just kind of play around with how much of this I apply because I feel like it just applies too much. I don't know if it's because the doe foot is so big or what, but 
I just feel like this gloss or whatever you want to call this just applies too thickly and that's why I don't like it. So I'm going to keep this in my collection and play around with it a bit more. Here is a lipstick. Is this a lipstick or a lip gloss? This is from Amy Hart's Beauty. She sent this to me in PR. Let me just see what this is. I think this is a topper, like a gloss. Yeah, this is a gloss. I'm going to keep this because I do really like the formula of the lip products that they uh, sent me. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this. Man, I am not decluttering anything. Okay, let's go into some of the things that I feel like I might declutter here. So here are the Betsy Johnson glosses. I ended up getting... What was it? Three of these sent to me in PR, and I don't love all of the color combos in here, so for that reason, I'm probably going to get rid of some of these. Um, I don't really wear a lot of super bright pink glosses, so I do think that this is going to be one of the ones that are going to be going because that's just a little bit too bright for my liking to be a gloss. And even though I like this side a lot more than I like this side, I just don't really think I need to reach for something this big just to use like one part of it. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. I think the nude one I am going to keep because this is a very, really, this is actually a really pretty like nude gloss. Yeah, I like that side of it a lot. So I'm gonna keep that. And I also like, I like all of the shimmer sides in these. So I'm definitely gonna go ahead and keep this one. Let's see about this. I feel like I should keep this one too because I do like me a good pink lip. Let's just see how dark this is. Okay, that is more like the mommy side. That's darker than I thought it was gonna be. Don't know how often I wear a gloss in that color. Let me just try the other side of this as well. Okay, I mean, that is pretty, but I'm just like not blown away by the color selection in this one. So I think I'm gonna get rid of this one as well. Just to kind of make room for some stuff in here because I just have so many things. Uh, this is a product that I got in my Try Beauty box last month and this thing smells so good and I haven't really had a lot of time to play around with this just because the color is like so unique. I've tried to layer this on top of a couple of different lipsticks and I didn't love how it looks so I took it off. But I'm gonna keep this in my collection still. I think this is the one that just smells really good. Oh yeah, that smells like candy. It smells like Sour Patch Kids. I'm definitely gonna keep something that smells like Sour Patch Kids. Here's another Colourpop gloss. Let's see what the one on this one looks like. Uh, yep, that's definitely frayed. I am going to get rid of that because that's going to annoy me so much. Oh, here is the... Uh, I actually went through this in my lipstick declutter when I did my pink lipsticks because I thought this was a lipstick, but it's a lip gloss. Why don't all glosses from Colourpop have a doe foot? I just don't understand, but I'm gonna keep this because it has a doe foot and it's really pretty and it's a good color, so... Uh, okay, here is a gloss from Morphe that I have not used enough. And for some reason, I feel like I get drawn to a lot of these like pinks with gold glitters in them. And I don't really know why, but you can't really see the pink too much in that. So it's more like a gold gloss with like a corally pink shift to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this. Now this one on the other hand is another one from the Juvia's Place collection. Um, I mostly bought these to review because I wanted to get like the whole collection and the whole set. And I knew that I would never probably reach for this gloss because it's just too dark. Like I am too messy to ever wear a dark gloss like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this to someone else. I mean, I've only used it once and it was in my uh, video where I reviewed this. So I'm gonna find a better home for this because I know that I will never reach for this. Here is a... Ulta Beauty Lip Oil. I don't know why I put this in here. This is definitely old. I haven't used it. I'm gonna declutter it, even though I really liked it when I did, but I just, I never reach for lip oils. I don't know why. They're so comfortable, but I just never reach for them because I like more of an opaque lip. And so when I'm like inside the house, I will usually put on a lip balm. So a lip oil is just like not a product that I just reach for. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter that, but mostly just because it is a little bit oil oil old I mean. Here's an infallible eight hour pro gloss from L'Oreal. I used to really really like this because these are some of the most long lasting glosses that I think I have in my collection. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep this actually because I do really like this formula. This one is from Ofra. I don't love the color of this but that's totally my own fault for picking this color but I'm gonna keep it. I like the formula a lot and I love the big doe foot so I'm gonna keep that as well. Man, I'm not doing very good in this gloss declutter and I didn't think I would. Here's another one from 
Oh, this is, I thought it was from ColourPop, but it's from Milani. What even are you? Are you a lipstick or a lip gloss? I don't remember buying you. Ooh, that's very, very thick, and I don't love that color. I'm gonna go ahead and declutter that. Something else that I'm gonna go ahead and declutter, I've realized that I'm not really the biggest fan of like very light lip toppers, and this is definitely a lip topper. You can see how I've definitely used it. This is from, what are you from? You are from Jordana. I know I follow some people who use this all the time. I forget who it is. I wanna say it is Anya. I don't remember, but I think she likes this a lot, but I just, I'm not the biggest fan of like very light lip toppers. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this, which means I'm also going to go ahead and declutter my NYX Chromatic Something Duo Shimmer Lip Gloss. Let's see what you look like. So this is very much a, oh, that's got way too much pigment for me to ever wanna reach for that. Yeah, I don't like that. Here's a gloss that I have from Ulta. I don't remember ever buying this. I feel like this was probably a gift with purchase or something. This is a lip plumping, trans transforming lip coat. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, that's honestly really pretty. Maybe I will keep that. I don't know about the lip plumping part though. I don't know if I've ever used this. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna give it a chance. I don't hate the color. I actually really like the color. I think that's quite beautiful, even though I'm sure I have something similar on my hand already, but Hey, it's okay. I'm gonna keep it. This one, however, is from NYX. This is the Shimmer Down Lip Veil. What even are you? I don't remember buying you. I feel like you are probably old at this point. Oh, that's so pretty though. When did I buy this? See, I feel like this is the kind of color I need to layer over a lipstick or else it's not going to look opaque. So I don't know how often I really go for a lipstick in this color. I don't even know if I have a lipstick in this color. So I feel like I should just declutter this because I'm never going to ideally reach for this. So I'm gonna be a good girl and just let go of something because something needs to go here. I'm not doing a very good job. This I know I can let go of. This is from LA Splash. I think I also got this in a box if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I don't remember loving this. Yeah, this is super sticky. This is like the definition of a sticky gloss, like a bad sticky gloss. I don't like this. I'm actually going to go ahead and declutter this infallible gloss from L'Oreal as well, even though I love this formula. This color is just, I don't know why I bought this. I need to stop buying like darker glosses because they just, they're so hard for me to wear unless I layer it on top of a dark liquid lipstick, which I just don't wear that often. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this. I do think it's pretty cold as well. Here's another one from the same range. Let's see what you are looking like. I don't know if you guys can even see the difference between any of these, but I feel like I have so many of these kind of pinky, purpley, corally, gold-looky, shifty glosses that I'm gonna keep this one too because I think it's really pretty. Now here's a gloss stick that I bought from Sephora and I like the formula of this a lot, but I don't love this color. I just don't have a lot of lipsticks that I can layer this on, and I don't find it to be opaque enough to be worn on its own, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this because it just doesn't layer very well over lipsticks. I feel like it kind of disrupts my lipsticks, which is a shame, but I mean, at least it was pretty affordable. This is like the cheapest gloss stick I think I have in my collection, so I don't feel too bad about letting go of this. Here's another one of the Huda Beauty ones. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this because I just, I like this formula. And even though this is a darker gloss, I can wear this as a lipstick and it's totally fine because it is opaque enough to do that with. Um, here is a Pro Matte Gloss from L'Oreal. I think I'm gonna declutter this because I just don't really like this color. I mean, it's pretty, but it's just not really what I reach for. And I feel like this kind of color always just like clashes with my hair. I don't know. There's something about this that I just, I don't like this. Here is a way too old ColourPop product that I don't even know what is. Should I even open this? Ooh, that doesn't look very nice. I'm gonna, yeah, that's gross. Not keeping that one. Here is a lippy stick that should not be in here. This is in the shade Ziggy. This is gonna go in the lipstick pile. Here's another one of these kind of Amy Hart's Beauty lip topper lip glosses. Was this a gloss? Was this a lipstick? Who knows? I do not remember. I'm running out of room here. Yeah, so this is definitely a gloss, but this is opaque enough that I can wear it on its own. And like I said, I really like the formula of these Amy Hart's Beauty products. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this. I'm not going to keep this uh, topper gloss from NYX. This is the same as the other one that I swatched like down here on my pinky. This one is just like too opaque to be a topper. I don't know, I don't like it. 
And I think I'm also going to get rid of my TARDIS, what are, I don't even know what you were called. But I remember getting this in a boxy charm a long time ago. Again, it's like the same kind of colors that I reach for. I don't know, I'm getting rid of this. I don't really love this. I think I remember this being kind of plumping and a little bit minty and it was a little bit too much for me. So I'm gonna say goodbye to that one. And so we have one more of the, wait, we have two more of the infallible glosses here. I told you, I really like this. I'm gonna keep the red one because this is so beautiful layered on top of any red lipstick. I mean, it just makes it look so juicy and shiny, especially on top of a cool tone lipstick. And these are very long lasting, so they stick to your lips very nicely and they don't like transfer too much. I mean, they are gloss, but I find these to be really, really long lasting and easy to wear and they don't make a mess everywhere. So I'm gonna keep that one. Let's see what this one is. This one is more of a kind of corally red. Yeah, that's very, very sheer. I don't know how I feel about that. I think I'm gonna get rid of this because it's just not calling my name right now. I'm going to keep my So Juicy Gloss by ColourPop. This is an orange one. This is called All Talk. I'm gonna keep this. I'm also going to keep my Clinique Gloss. This is one of my favorites for wearing on its own because it's nice and opaque and it's nude and it just gives a really, really nice color to my lips. I feel like this is perfect for my lip color. Yeah, this is like the perfect nude gloss for me. I don't even know if you guys can see anything. I hope you're able to see at least a little bit of a difference in all of these glosses. If not, I'm so sorry, I tried. Um, let's see, what are you? Okay, so this is another one of the Amy Hearts Beauty ones, but this is just a clear gloss. I didn't like this one as much as I like the colored product, so I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one. I am going to keep my Marc Jacobs gloss stick because I love this. I think the formula of this is fantastic. Oh my God, speaking of fantastic, this is the Fantastic. I think that's how you say it. Maybe you just say fantastic, but this is the uh, Linda Hallberg lipsticks or lip glosses or lip products or multi-use, whatever you want to call these, but I love these. This is the newest one to my collection and it's kind of like a nudie brown, but I just think that this is so beautiful. These are so easy to wear. They're opaque enough that I can wear it on its own and still get some color on my lips. They don't last very long, but I mean, that's totally fine. I prefer to reapply my lip products after I eat anyway, so I'm for sure going to keep this. And I don't know where the other ones that I have are. Like, I know I have probably two other ones, maybe one. I think I have one more, but if I can find it, that's going to end up in my key pile as well. And the last two in here are also going to be keepers. This one is one of my favorites. This is from Han Cosmetic Skincare. Um, I got this in a boxy charm a long time ago, I think a year ago now, maybe a little bit more than a year ago. I think it got it right after I started my channel, which was about a year ago. Maybe it was right before that. I don't remember, but I'm going to keep this. I love this. Also got this uh, Dominique. Wait, Chris, Kristen Dominique? That's her name, right? This is her gloss, it's the Lemonade Gloss. Love this too. Also got this in a box, don't remember which one. I feel like I always confuse the two box subscriptions that I had. I don't have BoxyCharm anymore. I only have Tri Beauty Box because I just found BoxyCharm to not really be my kind of thing anymore. So yeah, that's going to be the end of the lip gloss declutter. I'm gonna go ahead and count and see where we ended up. I did not do very good in this one, but I kind of expected that because I have a hard time letting go of glosses because they're so versatile. So let me go ahead and count these and see where we ended up. So I actually did better than I thought I would. I ended up having 58 keeps, but keep in mind that like 10 of these were like the mini Jouer ones. So I don't really feel like those count because I didn't buy those myself and like they're minis and they basically take up no space at all. So 58 keepers and 28 decluttered. So I think I did a lot better than I thought I would. And I'm very happy with that because I needed to just narrow down my collection a little bit. So yeah, that's going to be it for the uh, gloss declutter. If you want to see some other declutters, I'll put some up on the screen so you can keep watching if you like this. And if you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.